Hello, this is Troy from Red Eye Concrete. Hi, I'm Anthony from Big Top Concrete Resurfacing. The purpose of our video today is so that we can address general questions that we get asked every day in our business about acid stains. Number one, acid stains are 100% UV stable. Number two, Every concrete substrate that we stain turns out differently, and we're going to prove that point today. We have two different substrates here. They're all formed to one. This pour was one week apart from the second pour with a different concrete. So what we're going to do today is show you how that one will be different than the other, even though they're side by side for our purposes. Also, we want to demonstrate today that this is a hydrochloric acid. When you use an acid stain, this is a chemical reaction with the substrate, which reacts with the Portland and the lime inside the substrate itself. So when we're applying this product, it's, it's cooking into the slab, is what I like to usually tell everyone. And what happens is it creates a unique pattern and modeling this that you won't get with any of the other stains in the industry. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply that to this. As you see this go down, this is not the finished product. You will not see the finish till the very end of the job, so please don't panic if someone's doing your job and it's not the color you believe. Stay tuned. Today we're going to be using Chemico acid stains in three colors. We're going to be using Melee Tan, Cola, and Black. So what we're doing now is I'm going to spray the Melee Tan down, and Anthony's going to follow me with the Cola. And we're going to wet this up. All this slab was prepped beforehand. substrate put the plastic down and we've let it sit for several hours as you saw we went side to side with both sides of the concrete so that you can see it's evenly sprayed with the same sprayers um, we're going to remove the visqueen now we're going to neutralize the acid let it dry for a little bit and then we'll put some sealer on and you notice the color once we put the sealer on as you can see Justin and Junior are now neutralizing the acid on the substrate and as you look at the substrate, you'll see more moisture here than on the other side where we had the evidence previous for the week before. And that'll show you how one side absorbs more than the other and the porosities of the concrete make a difference as to how the acid's gonna taste. Also, when we put the plastic on here, you'll see the striations and lines, which will give it a little different look. So on top of protecting it from the wildlife and the animals, we also create a different look on our substrate. see the two substrates side by side and you see that we sprayed the same amount of acid at the same time out of the same sprayers and you can see a difference already and we haven't applied our sealer fixing to apply our sealer coat now 
to make this acid pop, we always tell homeowners, look, you can't tell the color till we put the sealer on. You can wet test it to get an idea of your saturation and how your light and darks are, but you can't get the true color till you put the sealer on them. We'll do that next. Looking good. Okay, everybody, as you can see from our video, there is a difference from one substrate to another with an acid stain. And you can tell that acid stain has its own unique individual qualities, which is why we like working with this product. Um, I'd like to put a special thanks to Justin Lewis and Arturo Morales for helping us with our video today. And I would like to state, painters, the only thing you should be doing on floors is walking on them. Stay out of our business. We won't get into yours. Thank you. Have a good day.